<sighs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Durland Grister. Jesus Christ, we made some progress by walking that fucking far. No, seriously, like, we were just at Castle Baldea here. How the fuck did we get to the Empire that fast? It yeah, you know what, I, I, I'm, I'm not just saying, I'm just not going to question anymore. In this scenario, we're tackling <clears throat> the Iron Gates of the Barracks. Oh boy, this is going to be one fun scenario. Alright, so it looks like we're going to beat Leon in combat. That shouldn't be too hard, considering he is, um... Alright, so what I did was I leveled up Erwin a little bit. Nothing too dangerous. Just gonna set up everyone normally so I, as I talk. <clears throat> In this scenario, you really can't do much. I'm not gonna lie. Here, I'll show you what the scenario looks like. It's just two swordsmen, two archers, well, not two archers, two sorcerer mages. And Leon in there. That's literally it. Leon doesn't even have his armor. And that's pretty much it. No one here really has anything. It's just six units. But you're about to see why it's hard in a moment. Alright, so for Owen, let's grab him some... Fuck, I'm not sure what I want to get him. Let's go the phalanxes. For pain, grab the ballistas. I really don't need them. I actually really don't need them. Okay, I'm gonna get some uh, angels for Keith. In fact, I'm just gonna place them over here. Lester. Nothing, you know what, I'm not gonna buy anything from last time. For Aaron though, the Lanx is for everybody. Bye over Liana, let's get her some high elves. I'm not sure what to get Sherry. Maybe I'll get her... Yeah, you know what, screw it, get her some of these as well. Jeez, I've never, actually, I've actually never had her in this situation. Let me just move her here. There we go, now that looks a little bit better. If you guys were curious at the uh, equipment you guys get here, long sword, a lot of shit, yep, and we got the necklace here if you guys wanted it. But we're not here for that. We're here to sell a shit ton of our equipment. Oh, this Messiah sword here is what you get from in the last scenario if you decide to do a scenario replay. But I'm not going to use this thing mainly because I don't really need it at the moment. Get rid of the shit. I'm gonna get rid of all the extra cloaks, Steve. So many bucklers. I really don't need them now. Alright, now that we've gotten rid of pretty much everything we don't need, I think it's time to start the scenario. We should be okay here. I'm almost certain. Yeah, let's do this. Oh god, yes, my fucking favorite theme. You think you can stop me? That's adorable.
bring it on, Leon. So really, there's nothing much you can do here. <clears throat> In fact, all you can really do is... Let's see. How far is this? Hmm, it's a pretty decent range. I'm gonna wait. Actually, you know what? As per usual, I'm just gonna bring Freya along. Well, while Hayden is technically right, I could have brought Langwester with me, but at the same time, I really don't need it. I'll show you the stats of what Langwester is in the next episode. But for this scenario, all you have to do is defeat Leon, and the game's put the uh, scenario is over. But there is a lot of VXP here that it could be wasted if you aren't here, that you aren't using. Leon and Laird aren't gonna move. That's a fact. However, the two swordsmen are going to move, and they will attack you. Oh yeah, and I guess the uh, mages, but the mages aren't exactly going to be able to attack um, by moving. They're really not going to move. My plan right now is not to try to kill these. Well, I think I'm gonna try to kill all the fuck. My plan is to get rid of the mages first, if I, if I can. To the best of my abilities, of course. Try to get rid of the mages first, and then get to um, the swordsmen. The swordsmen are going to be very tough, considering uh, they have grenadiers, and they could wipe out my uh, my phalanxes pretty easily. And the swordsmen do have a uh, sword blast that you guys are not going to be able to get rid of. Uh, he's going to go for uh, archers or that. I would assume these guys are going to have a list of but I guess not. So let's see if I can do this properly. If I can, this is gonna get really easy. All right. All right. So I have a choice of taking down one or the other. Hmm. You know, what? I'm gonna take down the one on the right, mainly because the one on the left is going to die regardless. Yep, that's a lot of damages. As per usual, target straight for the commanders. Do not hesitate to wipe out the commanders on, on, on site. There are really no huge issues right now. These mages are actually going to be a huge problem if you don't kill them off immediately. So try to get them as best you can with the fly unit you have. So if you have Lester as a uh, Dragonite, you can actually get rid of them. Or if Sherry is not a, is not a uh, dra is not a sage. Uh,
resist was not sweet. Thirty-two and my thirty-one. They're always out there challenging me right now, buddy. Later. Stealing the XP. And just like that, the uh, the entire scenario is legit almost over. Seriously, that's literally all it is to the scenario. <clears throat> there really isn't much to the scenario, really. You don't even need that many units. I'm doing this for a precaution in case I had messed up in some way, shape, or form. That's what the phalanxes are for, for Aaron. But really, <clears throat> Leon's not gonna move, neither, neither will Lair. And the only one that'll really move is the Mage, which, by the way, will die in the next turn. I think this might be the shortest, uh, this might be the shortest episode we've ever had. Since, well, I am speeding up the, um, the action because it is legit the same thing over and over. Sadly, on this new emulator, it's not as good as my last one, but whatever. Alright, let's go Meteor one more time. If, you, if you've learned Meteor for Hain at this point, it's going to be so much easier. Since these uh, ballistas have such low magic defense. And that's a full level up. Actually, let's give it to Erwin. Who knows, maybe he'll make use of it. As for this chick right over here, yeah, she's done for. Because all I have to do is swap over here. Thanks to Hayden, that opened up a path for me to cut her down. Damn it. I didn't mean cut her down. Strike her down, sorry. Let's get rid of Laird first. He is actually a pretty huge problem. Keep in mind, um, Erwin is still technically a soldier unit, so anything you if you do put, decide to put Erwin against um, Leon or Laird, he will actually, you know, have issues. Oh, he should get some bonus. I'm sorry, dude. That's just how strong Leon's Royal Lancers are. They can actually fight back against Spearmen. But, then again, Leon is a Nightmaster. Look at those fucking bonuses. I don't think I've ever had a moment where Leon, were too, Leon was too weak at, at this point of the level. Because at this point of the uh, scenario of your of the playthrough, he would always have um, enough power to at least knock down two or three of the phalanxes. Laird, on the other hand, he's kind of weak. Let's get rid of his Oh damn! I was I was actually supposed to attack uh, Laird in the next moment, but I guess not. If he does decide to attack me, he's going to get fucked over. Well, since I'm here anyways, let's go Aaron have some action. Maybe we'll get something done. Ah, fuck it. Let's throw you in the water. Guys, this is a moat, so... <laughs> even when the water isn't exactly a bad thing, either. Uh, since I'm here, I might as well go heal up. I plan on just killing both of them with Erwin alone. Which is probably a stupid idea. I should probably bring uh, Hayden if I'm, I'm actually going to do that. Wait, what? 
So I'm gonna, oh, Dark Princess. I almost forgot you showed up. That's insulting. Oh shit, right, you still have magic on you. Oh. This could end up being really bad looking for. Okay, yeah, that's not good. Too bad for you, you're not moving. Oh shit, you're moving. Ah shit. I forgot you can do that. Oh god. Oh god. Right, she can cast Meteor. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. Thank god I healed up, otherwise I would have lost a unit by then. Well, we had our own reinforcements right now. Get everyone off juiced up for a deal. High elves. They might get killed so easily. Yeah, since I'm here, let's go power him up. Her up. Alright, so we got a new unit, Bat. Really nothing special about these bats. They're just about the same amount of power as the angels. But not exactly the hugest threat in the world. So you should be okay. Also, these phoenixes, just think of these as, um... Well, all they do is charge. Kind of dead already. Sorry, buddy, but you're already dead. Again was like, oh, that's a great spell. So, if you guys have noticed, yes, uh, the Dark Princess is, um, is like a twin, it uh, does look like, um, what is it, Liana's twin. Let's get rid of these guys first. They're not really a huge problem. They're just here to kill time, really. Alright, now that the new seasons are out of the way, let's grab Aaron and start moving forward again. You know, come to think of there's no real reason for me to actually use them. <clears throat> Let's get rid of all your lancers real quick here, buddy. Fuck. You know, it's embarrassing that when your lancers are still able to live. At least you give a healthy amount of VXP. Damn it. Well, too bad for you. I still have elves to make you worry. Don't hesitate to attack him. There's really nothing. Again, nothing important for you. Don't be sorry. You'll be joining your friend pretty soon, buddy. Ugh. We have new, um, uh, 
my units or two. The demon. Anyways, uh, hold on. Got a love one. We got a class change. And if you notice, Erwin is the first to hit his uh, secret class. The secret class <clears throat> is a hero. In fact, he has three secret classes. Um, hero, King, and I believe Nightmaster. He should have a fourth one, but the fourth one doesn't actually come at all. So for Hero, he, well this is his last class, you don't really get too much. All you get is, a, I believe, a little bit bigger of a command range and those bonuses. There's nothing you can really get after that. All it is is extra bonuses and you get a huge command range. Look at that. And uh, I got a huge boost right now. I think it's a good idea to use that boost at the start of tanking. Dark Princess's move is... Whoa, okay. Ah, uh, 34. You should not have been able to pierce my defenses that easily. I have 34 defense. Alright, new plan. Change to you and attack this one. I think Leon's still pretty weak to um, fight, not fight, to uh, attack. Well, I mean, I don't have much to use. Lair and Lester are really useful. They're not Lair and Lester, Lester and Keith. After you've taken out all the units, you don't really need to worry about much. Uh, wait, hold on, Aaron might die here. He might not technically die. You're attacking. You seem to be attacking Liana a lot. I'm not too sure why. Oh, hey! Scott, you're here! Yeah, so at the. Uh, if you're on the fifth or sixth turn that you can't beat this scenario, which you probably should if, you're at, if you've been doing the way it didn't happen to Scott will show up to help you. And he came with Drag Goons. Thank God Scott is here. Holy shit. I missed you, buddy. Where have you been? Well, let's take a look at Scott. He's back at the. Um, he's back at the class that you left him. So if he was a knight and you completely ignored him, well, he'll be a knight when he comes back. But since I left him off at the Knight Master. So he gets a free couple level ups, I believe. In fact, <laughs> a, free, a couple free levels is another thing. Look how fucking close he is to facing Leon. Now. Look at him. Leon is level nine, Knight Master. Scott's already level a uh, level eight. Seriously, I love Scott, man. Like, He's by far one of my most favorite units to use in a game, er, uh, in this game. If I had to choose between using Scott or Laird, I'd go for Scott, literally every, every single time. You know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna go shave down 9 my health. Or 8, that works too. Force heal is basically a force heal one, but it only selects a certain uh, the the units uh, 
set of uh, the unit and their and the one that's selected and their commanders. All right, so let's see what happens if I would have. Hold on, I can't even kill you. In fact, I can't even touch you. In fact, why did I even do this? In fact, fuck this. I'm just gonna walk over right here and let my elves do the work. Fire away! God damn! So no way are you dying. Okay, well, it doesn't look like I'm able to kill you instantly. Which means... Being the hero, I gotta take care of this. Huge EXP boost, though. You told us that you alone were, but if you were abandoned at the shrine, you never told us you had a sister that was abandoned with you. Well, I don't want to kill you. In fact, it's almost impossible to kill this guy. Okay. Alright, you know what? Because I can, I'm gonna move you here. And since I have the time. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the one thing that I would never use on myself. Again. You're about to see why again is such a useful spell for your best units. When you use again, just like they're showing here, time is altered for the units that have already moved. And gives them a chance to move one more time. In other words, I get a chance to smack down Leon. You know what, Leon, this is payback for not be letting me letting me kill you last time. Game over, Leon. You know, to be fair, I never had Langris on me. God turns down. Free level up Erwin. Unless you get an awesome level up. Sadly, no one else gets a good level up. Yeah, you're right, Ruin. That's not her. If you guys notice, uh, Lana's head was starting to ache when she was being told. Oh, what the? Someone's controlling her. Could you have shown up any later? I mean, you're, you know, you know, this commander here could probably have been more useful than you. How did you go back to being a regular? Ah. You, Lester legit just asked that just now. <sighs> I have a guess.
All right, let's do this. So, since we completed the scenario, and thanks to that, Scott's back as well. Man, I cannot wait to use Scott in the next scenario. So it's going to be a little bit difficult with him around. Because now we have another horseman. Man, I am so glad Scott is back. Look at all that free ball. Alright, now that we finally got Scott back, told you guys that he would come back in a bit. Yeah, Scott will show up with you in uh, Scenario 12 against uh, Leon at all times. However, it'll only happen in the light path. If you choose any other path, he will side it against you. But that's really not much of a problem, since I'm going to take down the light path first. Anyways, um, if you guys like this video, smack that like button, maybe subscribe. I mean, why the hell not? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just here making these videos. I don't even really care if you guys watch these. I'm just making these for fun. But in the next episode, we're finally going to tackle Ca the Empire itself. And what do you know? We're going to take on the Kaiser Barakar. See you guys then.